Hey, what's up everyone? Hope you're all having a wonderful time. Here I have just a quick guide on how to tame the llama and why you need them for your base in Soul Mask. So to start with, the llama is going to be one of the most useful mounts to you. First of all, the weight on the llama is quite high, so it's really nice to use it when you're going away farming for like ores for example. But the main thing with the llama is going to be the different extension that you can make to it. And if you take a look on the saddle itself, you will be able to make it at awareness level 15 and you can find it under the leather section on the knowledge and technology tree. The first extension to the saddle is going to be the wicked basket and this is for taming and basically makes you able to put in baby tames once you capture them uh, into the llama so you don't have to run with the tame yourself. Huge quality of life and a must have as soon as you can. And you can store up to 4 tames at once using this. And the next one is the extended seat cushion and this is going to be for when you have captured a NPC. And with this once you're taking your NPC you can put in on the llama and same goes here so you don't have to run with the NPC for yourself. And where to find the llama is basically going to be all around this forest area here uh, that is going to be in the middle of the map basically. And uh, the easiest spot and especially early on or at the first llama that you will capture is going to be at the hill portal here to the south as you will need to carry it for yourself as you don't have a llama jet uh, with a basket on you. And you can just use this teleport and uh, teleport you back to the rainforest if you have your base around here, which most of us are at start. The llamas to the south here though is going to be around level 30 or so and if you're going for more north instead you will start to see uh, higher level llamas at this area uh, around level 40 instead. And I would recommend you go over here once you got yourself your first one as a higher one will get more stats overall. And to tame the llama you will need to have some bait here and there's different kinds that you can use here. The most normal ones is going to be uh, the corn or even the pumpkin here. And if you don't have any corn you can go to this uh, barbarian barrack here just south of the portal in the rainforest. And here at the start of this uh, area you will find some farms where you can grab yourself some corn. Really great early on. And you will also need to gather yourself a medium trap to capture the llama as well. And once you found a baby llama you want to go close to it, put down a trap and get some bait in the trap. And then you can just wait for the baby llama to get into the trap. Crouching is something that really helps here and you could even actually go and force the baby llama into uh, the trap here if you just go on the opposite side and uh, scare it towards the trap. Once the baby llama enters the trap you can safely go down and capture it for yourself uh, by picking it up and then when you put it down on the ground you will see you now get yourself a own baby llama. Once you get your baby llama and uh, then you want to head back to the base and you want to put it close to a fin trot or you could also just uh, put uh, some food of his liking into the inventory itself. Also try to get some water as well and uh, just have to wait for the baby llama to grow. And the rarity is also something that you want to keep an eye out for as it will also increase the stats of the llama as well. Uh, it's going to determine also how big the llama will be and uh, to the right here you can see I have a white rarity llama and to the left here we have a blue rarity and you can pretty obviously see the difference of the size. Pretty fun mechanic that I think the devs added to the game. You also got purple, gold and leather or red it's going to be better than the blue one here and you always want to aim for the highest tiers possible obviously. And if you are lucky you might even get a llama here with a rare color as well. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. If you got any other questions feel free to drop a comment and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And with that said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!